Well, hey, everybody. I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside, and welcome to Esoteric Influences for the 28th of March through the third day of April. So April is almost here. I love April. I also love October. I was born in October, so I, I just, I love, I love the fall anyway. Uh, but I also love the spring. I, I love watching things come up out of the ground for the first time after it being barren all winter long. It's just, it's just a very cool thing. So I'm, I'm excited that we're about to get to April. And uh, I'm going to go ahead, I think, today and start some of my seeds. And uh, a couple things, I one thing I started, I've got two things up from it, but uh, that's all that came up. Um, and uh, uh, one thing, I've got some echinacea in the refrigerator, uh, cold stratifying there. Uh, they like to have a little, it, it's really best probably to plant your echinacea in the fall, let the snow cover it and all that. But I didn't, I didn't have the seeds. It's a different, different uh, uh, variety of it. So anyway that's there and uh other than that our pepper plants are doing well the tomato plants do, do we have to yeah i think i've got a couple of tomato plants up or I, I don't know how many though he planted i think he still has to plant some more but my, but my peppers are this high and some of them are the paprika ones and so i'm really excited about that so anyway let's go ahead and get started um we have a one energy for for Sunday the 28th for today. We also have Kenaz as our rune. Uh, that's the torch or the light of spirit or awakening. Uh, we also have Fortuna Minor um, as sort of sort of like incremental progress, uh, minor fortune uh, for today for the geomancy rune. Um, now we're going to see then Fortuna Major to Mar for for Monday, and then it's going to do it again. We're going to have we're going to have uh, Fortuna Minor and and Fortuna Major, so we're going to alternate those through Wednesday, and then Friday, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday have their have have different geomancy runes. I don't know how that happened, but it did. It just I kept throwing it, and that's what happened. So. Anyhow, uh, uh, the moon is full today. Uh, last night was maiden. It was beautiful. Um, and, but it's full today in Libra at 11.48 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. And this, in the Human Design Channel active on Sunday is synthesis. So I hope you get out tonight and uh, uh, get out under the full moon. Although favorability for work and magic is very bad, you can still get out there and... Uh, uh, if you set your intentions for uh, on the new moon, you can you can think about how they've come to fulfillment uh, tonight when you go out there and draw down the moon's blessings. So anyhow, your creative is awakened. Your creativity is awakened on Sunday as you make progress on a new endeavor with the assistance of others. You're motivated to succeed, and your unique approach serves you well. If you're feeling that your emotional balance is off on Sunday, it's likely something energetic or situational in nature. It may be best just to take some time to recenter if necessary, because uh, it could be passing. Or it could be that a close relationship is strained and it's affecting your focus. Avoid taking the bait or offering the same and let go of any, of any, any perceptions that could be influencing an egoic reaction on your part. Once your emotions settle and you regain your focus, it's clear that progress made on Sunday depends upon integration with others and a new shared path or foundation. If new people are, are involved, uh, your collaborative effort may need some nurturing so that a new paradigm can develop. Change is inevitable and may follow its own path, so pay attention to synchronicities that foster success on Sunday. Magical focus today, if you're brave and you want to work it anyway, is the sun governs. Uh, clarity, truth, healing, courage, removing barriers, and leadership are focuses for magic. On Monday, the 29th, we have a, an 11 energy. Uh, so that's the master number for, for awakening and enlightenment. It's also the spiritual messenger. The rune is Perthro, and uh, it's basically about uh, the, the Norns uh, uh, controlling men's fate. But, but really, it's about fate and about what we do with it. Um, are we going to control it or is someone else going to do that for us? Um, here we have Fortuna Major, which is major fortune. So we have um, uh, not incremental gain, just maybe something comes to completion and it's successful on Monday. We're in the crown phase of the full moon on Monday. It's We're in Libra until Scorpio uh, at 10.34 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Uh, let's see, void of course is from 5.07 p.m. until 10.33 on Monday night. Uh, let's see, looks like synthesis 
is still our human design channel active on Monday. Um, with the master number 11 governing on Monday, pay attention to any synchronicities that occur for the greater message they bring. Uh, 11 represents spiritual awakening and the divine messenger within. So let spirit infuse all that you do on Monday as you take command of your own fate. Don't give it away to somebody else, in other words. You may also want to begin a new activity on Monday that expands your awareness, but be aware of how you come across to others on Monday so that conflict or misunderstandings don't arise. If it involves some escape from your normal life, then all the better. That said, you may also want to take some time out to find your center if your feelings or a situation becomes overwhelming. We kind of have that energy for a while, first part of this week, where things are unsettled. So just be aware of that. Nurture yourself and others on Monday in a positive manner while paying close attention to details. If circumstances become tense, remain calm and refuse to take the bait from anyone, even if it means altering your typical reaction. A collaborative influence will, in the end, draw support from others to reestablish a new paradigm built upon a sense of shared values and principles. Favorability for work and magic on Monday is still very bad. So again, inner work, it's the crone phase of the moon again. So you can do some trance work uh, and, and see where that takes you. But if you do want to do it, we're talking the moon governing on Monday. Uh, so feminine magics, healing, intuition, cycles, reincarnation, astral travel, uh, balance and change. Uh, on Tuesday, the 30th of March, we have a three energy and the rune for the day is I was. So the link between realms, we're flowing from spirit into form. And then again, we're going to go back to Fortuna Minor or incremental progress or incremental success. The moon's in Scorpio and the uh, human design channel is still synthesis or the collective aspect of life. Now, on Tuesday, you're going to make steady progress, especially if you're willing to collaborate with others with more experience. A lot of collaboration this week. Uh, step back to see the bigger picture and how each aspect integrates together or or not. Uh, when the situation is clear, focus in on the details to craft the best outcome. With the moon now in Scorpio uh, on Tuesday, you may be drawn inward by your intuition, especially if you're feeling tension with a close partner. It may be that you need to simply adjust your, uh, uh, your own perceptions to regain some clarity. Meditation or a walk in nature be, may be helpful to rebalance and achieve your calm. Realize that what's truly important right now and realize what's truly important right now and avoid pushing your views on others who may not be ready to hear or trust your message. If conflict or triggers happen, refrain from taking the bait from someone who simply wants to control the interaction. Uh, other we don't always we don't always think about it that way, do, do, do we? You know, maybe they're just trying to control something here and, and really they're just throwing red meat. Right. Others may be looking to you for leadership, and it may be best at this point to sacrifice your own response for the protection of others. In other words, survive to fight another day. We still, uh, on the 30th, are looking at very bad influence, favorability for magic, but if you're going to work it, Mars governs. Passion, manifestation, creativity, self-assertion, reducing conflict, <laughs> and we've been having just testiness, so maybe you might want to find some way to do that on, on Tuesday. Now on Wednesday, we have a four energy, so foundation and structure and all of that, uh, materialism. Tiwas is the rune for the day, so we're talking the spiritual warrior within. Uh, Fortuna Major, again, we've alternated, uh, is again, uh, for, uh, greater fortune is the geomancy rune for the day. So standing, you know, speaking truth to power, standing your own ground, all of that can bring you some, some uh, uh, good solid gain on Wednesday. Uh, we are in Scorpio still with the moon until it transitions into Sagittarius just before 11 o'clock in the evening. Void, of course, is between 5.28 p.m. to 10.58 p.m. And we've added transitoriness to synthesis for the human design channels. And remember, transitoriness is multitasking, the ability to do a lot of different things and do them well. Approach tasks on Wednesday with a pragmatic, committed, committed approach as you set an example for others to follow. Remain patient and avoid micromanaging people in a way that disrespects their input. Your ability to listen is appreciated on Wednesday, as well as your ability to express compassion for another's concerns. If you need to take time for yourself, however, you may be drawn to the spiritual realm. Listen to music or sit next to a small stream and draw in the energy of the earth element to ground and align in spirit. 
avoid any over oversensitivity on Wednesday uh, that essentially rejects insight and remain calm if challenged, assist others in their endeavors and be ready with strategies for success. A shift in perception that rises above societal or collective norms or values may be required so that necessary changes are reinforced. Now, depending on how you look at it, the favorability table for magic was likely done clear back in the Middle Ages or even before. So they don't include the 31st in the calendar. So depending on how you want to see that, we can, we can extrapolate from the 30th and say it's very bad, or we can reduce 31 to 4 and call it excellent. So I say let's, let's throw caution to the wind and have an excellent magic day on Wednesday. So Mercury governs, and we, we're going to work on communication, interactions with others, balance, justice, and revelation. Thursday, the 1st of April. Yay, we are in April. We have a one energy, so new beginnings, wholeness, and unity. We have Ewas, which is the intuitive bond we share with others, flowing in source presence toward one another, basically. A missio, or loss of some kind, it doesn't have to be a negative, uh, is uh, the geomancy rune for the day. And Sagittarius is our moon. And again, it's still synthesis and transitoriness for the human design channels for Thursday the 1st. So April has arrived with both Ewas and a numerology of one influencing. It signals aligning with others on a shared path. A numerology of one indicates new beginnings, wholeness, and unity, while Ewas represents the intuitive bond we share with others. So for, to, for, for uh, Thursday, if possible, take the opportunity to find harmony with others in your life, especially if relationships have been strained of late. And a lot of people are experiencing that. So if you can, you know, try to do that. But if not, then just wait and keep your heart open. With the moon now in adventuresome and independent Sagittarius, you may want to explore new ideas and experiences on Thursday. However, your emotions may play a factor in how that manifests. Past wounds may be arising and you may want to use Sagittarius' effect on the moon and your emotions to more fully explore their meaning. This could be a time of great emotional breakthrough. Regarding a situation that you're involved with, you may realize that you've gone as far as you can go, especially if in, those in authority refuse to accept truth. In fact, you may, to, you may to, need to accept a, to seek advice from behind the scenes to discover any deception that could be at work here. Keep your own counsel and exercise self-restraint so that a higher goal is protected on Thursday. Magical, or the favorability for work in magic on Thursday is excellent, and the magical focus is that Jupiter governs, and we're looking at social justice uh, spells, healing, abundance, income, growth, achieving goals and desires. Friday, the 2nd of April, we have a two energy, so balance, uh, uh, ex you know, balanced energy exchange with other people, reciprocity, decisions, Fehu is the rune for the day, so cattle and wealth. It's also the sending rune in magic, so you can use it to cast your intention, and the intention may just be on joy with others. This is Laetitia, and it's joy. We are still in Sagittarius uh, on Friday. Void, of course, begins at 10.23 p.m. to end of day, and also for part of the morning of, the, of, of Saturday. Synthesis and transitoriness are still the, the uh, human design channels and we add the channel of money or design of the materialist to, the, to the, the group on Friday. So financial issues may be in focus on Friday and you may need to make a decision regarding your future. Both your imagination and, and intuition should serve you well when choosing the right path forward. If emotions are in flux or you feel irritable at all on Friday, know that this is likely situational again, and you may be better served by letting your feelings subside before expressing them. Take a walk or engage in some physical activity, or if that's not to your liking, get in touch with your creative side. Reassess your strategy if necessary so that you preserve any long-term goals you've established. If clarity is lacking, stay present in the event that deception is revealed. If it's you that appears to, be, to have gotten off course, then it may be that you simply didn't express yourself in a manner that others understand. So do whatever you must to clear things up before proceeding further on Friday. Uh, favorability for work and magic on Friday. Our Venusian day is excellent. And uh, uh, so Venus is, governs. We're dealing with compassion, love, harmony, attracting a partner, partnership issues in general, female sexuality, fertility, healing, and friendship. On Saturday, the 3rd of April, we have a three energy, so mind, body, spirit, balance. It's catalytic. Uh, we're looking at triplicities, creativity, the will. Degas is the rune, and so we're looking at one period ending and another one beginning. 
uh, we're looking at Carcer as the uh, geomancy rune, and we're talking try not to self to 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 get to to imprison your own self or get in the way of self here, so that you can uh, let one phase end and another one begin. Um, we have the moon moves into Capricorn at 1:13 in the morning. And we still have the three human design channels, synthesis, initiate, initiation. Oh, no, initiation is new. That's needing to be first. So transitoriness dropped off, and then we still have money as a materialist. So, so needing to be first, initiating to, uh, on Saturday. Degas open do opens door, kind of aligns with Degas, doesn't it? Opens doors to new experiences with the catalytic energy of today's three numerology, or Saturday's three numerology. Ready to manifest your every desire. That said, avoid the self-imprisoning impact of carcer on your perceptions so that nothing restricts your success on Saturday. Now that the moon has traveled into Capricorn, make sure you've paid your bills and your focus is on foundational concerns. But while making sure everything is in order, be sure to leave room for new ideas and experiences to take hold, particularly those of a technological nature. You might work on a new program, find a new app or what have you, do something different on social media. Follow your intuition before acting in haste on Saturday and remain objective in your assessment of current circumstances. Be open to synchronicities and inspiration, but be wary of sudden challenges to your own authority. They may be deceptive in nature. We've seen that for the last couple of days here where authority or people challenging you may be doing it for deceptive reasons, and that's going to be the same on Saturday. So they may be deceptive in nature and may not be in the best interest of the collective or the, or the collective or common good. So gather input and support from others to continue a successful path on Saturday. Favorability for work and magic on Saturday's excellent. Saturn governs. We're talking about restriction, binding, summoning, harvest, purification, and protection. So I guess that's it. You know, we have some some things that are happening that are, you know, some edginess maybe. Uh, also, maybe some deception we're dealing with this next week. Um, you know, uh, check out the magical forecast on Monday through Friday uh, because that's going to talk about... Um, aspects planetary aspects and all of that i mean it has to do with magic but it still has useful information if you're looking at the astrology of it now daily astrology goes up monday through friday over on medium so you can check that out for a little bit different take as well um, also over on patreon and if you want to join patreon it's a dollar a month or twelve dollars a year or you can just choose a month to do it and maybe not the next month or however you want to do it you can join me over there links are to everything by the way under the video here uh, including, uh, let's see, so Patreon's there, Medium's there. Oh, also, if you want to support the blog, there's a paypal.me account. That's There's a little tip teacup over on the left side panel of the blog over at Stepping Aside at I'mSteppingAside.com. If you want to support the blog, you can do that. You can donate over there. Just click on that, and it'll take you to my little PayPal thing, and you can donate whatever you want to to help support the blog. Um, but other than that, let's see... I think that's it. Uh, somewhat Daily Tarot and Rune will meet tomorrow for that. Also on Thursday. That's been going well, I think. Um, and uh, so I guess that's it. Wear a mask. Oh, we got our we got our first uh, we got our first shot. Both of us on Wednesday. So so two more Wednesdays. The fourteenth, we get our second one. Yay! Anyway. Hopefully you're in that process, and if and even so, wear a mask if you go out around anyone at all, because you can still get the virus even with the vaccines. It's just not going to hurt you as much, but it might hurt someone else. So until we get the all clear, please continue to wear a mask when you go out around people, wherever you are, inside or out, and be good to God, and be good to yourself, be good to one another, and blessed be.